that one uh, falls well. Let's address the, uh, the idea that you can accomplish anything you want to accomplish. That anything you put your mind to, you can accomplish it. The idea that you don't have the freedom of thought to make your own decisions is something that comes from your mind and you got to clear clear your burdens off your shoulders in order to find that freedom of thought so you can then be able to move yourself forward see the problem is too many of us have learned to become a victim of their own mind which creates a limitation of your thoughts which holds you back from accomplishing your dreams that's sad that's sad figure out what you want your world to become and go do it and if you take the right steps and you do things the right way and the key word is doing things the right way no shortcuts outwork people outthink people then you can go and get what you want there's nothing that is holding you back that's all in your head only you can hold yourself back You got to give yourself the freedom of thought, the freedom of creating your own destiny, the, cr the freedom of creating the correct choices that could set you up. So everything you do is a choice. Every single day, you wake up in the morning, do you choose to make your bed? Do you not? Do you choose to eat breakfast? Do you not? Do you choose to get your mind in the right mindset? Do you not? Do you work out? Do you not? Do you read? Do you not? Do you prospect that next customer? Do you not? Do you help that next person or do you not? When you allow yourself to devolve into a thought process that somebody else controls your future, you devolve your opportunities for success and guess what guess what the road is going to be hard nobody's gonna give you anything I'm sorry that's just how it is and if you do get something and someone does help you out along the way and you get a couple of boosts awesome use that to your benefit learn from it but don't expect, don't expect that somebody's going to give you something. You have to take what you want. You have to figure that out for yourself. You have to plan. You have to practice. You have to learn. There's no shortcuts. Shortcuts only lead to short-term Possible success, long-term failure. Nick Saman talks about the process. The process is the chance to get you to where you want to be. There is no guarantee. But when you free your mind, you create freedom of thought, and you figure out solutions, instead of victimize or blame, victimizing yourself, or blaming others, but you look and account and are accountable to yourself, then, then you're on to something. Then you're looking in the mirror and you're figuring out what can I do a little bit each day to get better? What can I do a little bit each day to get better? Then piece by piece you you create success. You create your own opportunity. You don't need anybody else to create your opportunity. You create your opportunity. You create it.
There's nothing, there's no worse feeling than having to only rely on others for things to happen for you. But when you rely on yourself and leverage what others can help you with, when that's applicable, then you create the self-confidence in yourself, the confidence in your own abilities to be whatever you want to be in this world. The confidence in your own abilities comes from steady, day by day, step by step process in doing the right things over and over again. Getting over your hurdles and your obstacles creates confidence. Figuring out yourself how to do it. Asking questions of others of how you can do it. Learning from others. That creates that accountability in yourself. Accountability feels good because it creates confidence. Not cockiness. Confidence. That you can do it. That you don't need somebody to do that for you. That you can do it yourself. And that others will want to help you because you've taken the accountability steps on your own. People love it when others are accountable because then they want to be around them to help them accomplish what they want. When you point the fingers at others, and this is happens, all successful teams in athletics, the ones who rally together and each person's accountable, they become successful. The ones who point the fingers and blame others and say, whoa me, they fail. They fail. People want to be around accountable people. People get rid of people who aren't accountable. They fire them. They move them out of the organization. Don't think it's anything else other than that. People want to be around people that are striving for something great. Not taking something away from somebody else. But striving for something great. And figuring that out. That's when you're going to create your own success. And everyone is going to be or want to be around you. Because you make everyone feel like that you're working towards your dream and people want to get aboard your dream. That's the difference maker. That's success. That's freedom of thought. That's accountability. That's togetherness. That's leveraging others' abilities to create your own success in a positive way. Coach Human, signing off.